Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at the Orbix scenery for Macau because it is on sale as part of the Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. It is on sale for 10 bucks US and right now we are flying over Macau without that scenery. This is the stock scenery. I could have sworn that was photogrammetry but I guess not. And we are missing some serious landmarks here like Macau Tower for instance. Um, which you know, you would think might be useful, but also there are a lot of casinos in Macau that are very iconic and we do not have those here. So let's take a closer look. I am flying the PMDG DC-6. Uh, unfortunately, it was recently placed on the marketplace and apparently that version does not work so well. And uh, so Xbox people in particular have been having uh, some problems. It is of course a pricey plane, but it seems to be working fine uh, for PC, at least for those of us who downloaded it uh, or got it from the PMDG website when it was first released. So I would say that is fine. Uh, we have some custom buildings down there, some of the casinos, but a lot is not right. I, I wonder if that's supposed to be Macau Tower right there to our right there. Um, the airport is over there. Let me just get the map view up so that you have a reference. Okay, so we are here. Lots of planes around. And of course across the bay is Hong Kong. Where I do have some freeware scenery. It is a good question whether there is good freeware scenery. There is a freeware scenery package for Macau. But taking a look at it, it doesn't seem to include Macau Tower. Uh, it does have uh, some of the casinos, but I do want more of the scenery. So we can see there are unique buildings here. We've got a few, but there's a lot more that could have been done over here. Is the difference worth the price? About 10 bucks? Well. There's only one way to find out. Well, uh, unless somebody else has already made a video about the Macau scenery from Orbix, which is possible. But I guess uh, I will go with the other way of finding out and actually get the package. Okay, so here we are with the scenery installed. And in fact, you can see extra buildings over there to our left as we gaze from the airport. I've decided that I'm going to fly in the Sim Skunk Works F-104 around here. Not necessarily the best sightseeing plane. But I still have to work on it a bit, so we are here with it. So we see here some cranes, some additional ships, I think. There's sort of a landfill area going on over here. We see a few bridges in front of us. Some of the buildings here were part of the stock scenery, but not Tokyo Tower, uh, sorry, not Tokyo Tower, Macau Tower there. And also that building in front of us. The one problem with the Orbix scenery, and this is true of Mumbai as well, is it doesn't really fix some of the surrounding areas. And you can see that sort of business-ish district that we've got there. Um, the ground does not seem to be suited to it, if you will. I would expect more stuff around. Here we have the old casinos, I think. More of the classic, the Venetian and all. Classic style casinos. These buildings, I don't know, they could do a little work. Oh, that's the hotel, the Hyatt. And near the airport, uh, but I saw a good one right there. This is sort of the blimp looking one, but then there's the really classic building right there close to the airport. We'll take another fly around. I don't know what's up with Macau and the stacked building look, uh, like the one that we had to our left there. Across the bay there's another one. I think it's the MGM brand that looks the same. It looks like stacked containers. 
over there. Yeah, the MGM brand. Over here was where the stock scenery had decent buildings. But we have a few extra now. Oh, a nice garden there too. Park. Beyond the waterfront there isn't too much. The bridge is revamped, the bridge between Macau and Hong Kong. Improved from the stock scenery. I don't know what building this is. Some sort of terminal, maybe? Port? Probably a port. Oh, angle of attack. It's not. Let's not challenge this plane so early. So yeah. That's sort of the scope of Macau scenery and it sort of depends on you whether it's worth the 10 bucks that it is right now on sale. But I already have freeware scenery for Hong Kong that I'm reasonably satisfied with. There wasn't any freeware, I mean there was freeware scenery for Macau but it wasn't as thorough as I wanted. So this is better from that point of view. It's a nice sort of place. Some classic buildings, some more modern buildings. Quite eclectic. Oh, there's a nice little one down there. So, as we go through once... Oop, it's wobbling a bit. As we go through once again... Taking a good look. And I think they did some work on the airport, so we'll fly over once and then land see how that is. Right around here. Not whole, well, there's an airliner there, so something is using it. Okay, I'll come around and land. It's a little bit off. Okay, and we're down. Very good. Certainly uh, decent landing there, thankfully. Though I'm not carrying all the wind wingtip tanks or anything like that. Didn't need the drag shoot or anything though. So, good times. Anyway, so that's the Oryx Macau scenery. Certainly a huge improvement. So, with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.